You're probably best remembered from WCW with uh, tag teaming with Cactus Jack. Mm -hmm. Can you share some memories about that? Yeah, you know, uh, that was a great, great, great time uh, of my life in the business. And I was only ever sad was that it ended at all. You know, I didn't, I didn't want it to end. I didn't want, um, I didn't want to not be mixed partner. Um, that was, I found out years later, that was mixed choice. And um, we had so much fun together. I, I just love, I just love Mick. And uh, I, I know uh, I think now he feels quite a bit different about me. Um, it, it was great. I mean, I, I'll tell you one story. <laughs> Mick actually used this in an interview one time, but I didn't really smash his head into the dashboard. That was the only difference. Um, we were driving through the country one day, and he had this old fucked up, beat up um, Dodge... I don't remember some Dodge or Chrysler, or a Sebring or something convertible, and it was just beat to shit. But it had a pretty good stereo in it, and um, so uh, we were driving down the road, and I asked Mick. I said, "Hey, Mick, have you have you ever heard Tori Amos?" And uh, he said, uh, "No, no, I, I never have, Max." And I said, well, check this out. And uh, Tori Amos has this little EP out called Crucify. And it's got um, her version of Smells Like Teen Spirit on it by, uh, by um, Nirvana. And it's just a piano and her singing this song. And I have to tell you, it's one of the greatest songs. I, I love it. If you haven't ever heard it, Wrestling fans go out and listen to it. It's a very, very incredible version of Smells Like Teen Spirit. And so we start listening to it. And I'm just, you know, just kind of doing my thing. And I look over at Mick and fucking he is crying. Crocodile tears are rolling down his face. And I, I looked at it and I said, well, I, I guess that means you like it. I, I don't know. And so... Um, Mick uh, told the exact same story, but for a for a promo we did once, and then the, he added that then Max did the only thing that he could have done, being my friend at that exact moment. He reached up, tapped me on the back of my head, and then he smashed my face into the dashboard. <laughs> I didn't do that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.